Hi guys, Drew Travel here and welcome again to my channel. I'm doing another reaction video. This time guys, I'm going to react the video from uh, Toropia. So this one is entitled 10 Best Places to Visit in Iceland. But before I proceed to my reaction, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like buttons, click the notification bell in case I have a new video uploaded so that you'll be notified. So without any delay, let's proceed to this reaction. So this is one of my uh, bucket list guys to visit uh, Iceland because I saw some videos about this uh, country and it's really magnificent. So if you like to travel, so don't hesitate to visit Iceland. <laughs> so let's check this out. Toropia presents 10 best places to visit in Iceland. Ooh. Wow, such a magnificent country. From awe inspiring glaciers to geothermal springs and active Ooh, volcanoes, wow. Iceland is a place where nature always takes center stage. Wow. Even in the nation's lively capital of Reykjavik, views Reykjavik. of the city and nearby mountains steal the show. Isolated from the rest of Europe for centuries, this land of fire and ice has a unique fire cultural heritage ice. of literature and music wow. that you'll find captivating too. Illuminated by the northern lights in the winter and the midnight sun in the summer, Iceland shines in any season, offering you a travel experience unlike anywhere else on the planet. Wow. Such a really nice country. Too much waterfalls. <laughs> Number 10, Number 10, Black Sand Beach. Black Very Sand dramatic Be and beach. distinctive, Reynisfjara Beach wow. on the south coast of Iceland is one of the most famous black sand beaches on earth. Located next to the sleepy fishing village of Vik, the unique looking beach was formed over millennia by fierce waves pulverizing the volcanic coastline. In addition to its distinctive color, the beach is also renowned for the amazing basalt columns that lie at one end of it and the arresting rock formations dotted offshore. Having featured in both Game of Thrones and Star Wars, Black Sand Beach definitely earns its place amongst the most beautiful beaches in the world. Such a beautiful place. Black Sand Beach. It's unique. Oh, guys, if you like uh, beaches, <laughs> so don't hesitate to visit Iceland, in, uh, especially the Black Sand Beach, because it's really unique, guys, because you cannot uh, see anywhere in the world about this black sand so it's really nice it's it's really amazing to visit iceland but i don't know when can i visit iceland so hopefully <laughs> i can visit <laughs> number nine geysir the hot spring that is the namesake for geysir. all geysers in the world is Ooh, also there's one of the most popular stops in iceland Eruptions at Geysir. Geysir can hurl boiling water up to 70 meters wow. in the air. Eruptions may be infrequent, however, and have in the past stopped altogether so it's one of the for years attraction in Iceland. At the moment, Geysir erupts around three Ooh. times per day. The nearby geyser Strokur erupts more frequently than Geysir, erupting to heights of up to 30 meters every Ooh. few minutes. Wow. Oh, 
there's a plant growing up in that area it's hot it's just like a volcano I don't know guys if you visit to this place the geyser I maybe the smell of that area it's uh, smell like a sulfur because it's just like a volcano so I don't know if it's good for our health but it's once in a lifetime guys you can you need to uh, see and visit this kind of place so let's proceed to number eight which one is this one number eight Reykjavik. Reykjavik. Spread oh, so this is the capital of Iceland. Iceland. Reykjavik Ooh, covers it's a surprisingly large area for a capital the city. with a population of around 120,000. Most visits begin at wow. the visitor center located near the picturesque Lake Tjörnin on the city's west side. Filled with exhibits recounting Iceland's Viking heritage, the National and Saka museums are must-see attractions. So this one is more, more on a uh, right museum. The to the observation deck on the modernistic Hallgrimskirkja church east oh, of the this lake. This is the church. It's just like in the middle of the city. Their building, their infrastructure, it's really amazing. It's really nice. It's just like in Northern Lights. Actually, guys, uh, for me, uh, I am more on a countryside. If I'm going to tour, I, I like to explore more on countryside than the city, because I think uh, for me there are lots of things to discover in the countrysides. Then the city, it's just like you can only see the buildings the infrastructures or the museum like this one but when you explore on the countryside you can see different uh uh what's it called views and you you can discover lots of things so that's my preferences if i'm going to tour i will not stay in the city area so i like to explore on the countryside so this is number seven number seven Land Manalaugar. Land Manalaugar. Located within the Fjallabak Nature <laughs> Reserve in Iceland's interior islands. Land Manalaugar it seems that there's is no best known for its trees in Iceland. <laughs> Situated at the edge of a lava field, the flat and easily traversed region is famous for its natural hot springs as oh, well. Hot spring. Popular treks include short hikes through the lava field and climbs field. up the nearby rhyolite mountains oh. that ridges the graveled plains. Tour companies make regular day trips to the See? region during the high season, and rudimentary accommodations are available There's lots for of smokes because it's at the site as well. Volcanic area. Ooh! <laughs> She's cooking an egg. <laughs> Such a beautiful view. Wow, guys. The view it's really nice and it's so clean. That's what I told you that a countryside is more fun to explore compared to the city. But it uh, it's up to you uh, which preferences do you like. But for me, I really like uh, exploring countryside area. So this will be the number six. Number six. Tingvellir National Park. Park. Oh. As the place where Iceland's parliament was established in the 10th century, Tingvellir National Park has great historic importance to the island nation. 
Its location in a rift wow. the boundary of two major tectonic plates makes it a park with geological significance the too. Falls. Surrounded by mountains on three sides, the valley's cliffs, lakes, and evidence of volcanic activity demonstrate the force of the shifting Earth in dramatic mm. fashion. A popular day trip destination from Reykjavik, Iceland's first national park features marked trails that let you take in the best sights in two or three hours. So clean. Wow, the waterfalls. Iceland. Guys, it seems that if you travel to countryside in every road you take, every side of the road you can see beautiful uh, places or e even a tourist destination or something like this one. So, Iceland is a really nice country. Wow. I don't know how what's the cost of living in Iceland. It's expensive or it's just like uh, not really that expensive. But I heard that uh, Iceland is one of the countries that uh, the cost of living there it's uh, quite high. So <laughs> if you travel to Iceland, you need to prepare and you need to budget everything. <laughs> Number five. Mivaten. Mivaten, number thousands five. Thousands of years ago by a river of hot lava, Mivaten is a great place to go bird watching. This More one is for bird watching. species frequent this lake oh. to feast on the midges that give Mivaten its name. Shaped by volcanic eruptions spouting up so through the water, is more on the, the volcanic so uh, area. That the landscape <laughs> so that's why there's no more uh, well. trees. The best place to visit the craters is on the lake's south shore near a rural community. A forest of pillars, wow. caves, and rock formations created as the water drained away are on display at the lava fields east of Mivaten. Wow. It's like that, uh, uh, what do you call it? Asteroids, uh, hit the earth then there's a formation like this one <laughs> Such a nice country. So I think uh, that's the smell of there. It's more on uh, sulfuric or something. This one, but the place is really beautiful. Hmm. I'm daydreaming now that I'm in the Iceland at this moment while watching this video. <laughs> so this will be number, number four. four. Jokulsarlun. Few I don't know travel how to experiences in Iceland are more memorable than wow. the sight and sound of an this iceberg, one iceberg breaking off a glacier and crashing into the sea. The best place to witness this display of nature's power is at the Jokulsarlun Glacier Lagoon, located in so southeast cold, Iceland. Maybe there. This iceberg-dotted lake was formed by the melting ice of a huge glacier, which is a major attraction in its own right. Ooh. While you can view the lake with its slow-moving floating icebergs from the island's ring road. Nothing compares to seeing them up Ooh. close from the deck of a tour. Ah, there's a tour boat, so you can uh, ride a boat, then get closer to the iceberg. Wow! What oh, they're doing? A kayaking. Seal. See, they're kayaking. Ooh, must be really cold there. The views uh, 
of the Icelands, guys. It's just like on for me, it's just like an only on the movies I see. But I really I really don't know if this place really exists, but when I see this video, now I finally I finally uh, concluded that this place is really exist. <laughs> so number three. Number three, Gullfoss. Gullfoss. As it lies in a hidden colossal crevice that cuts through the otherwise barren Icelandic landscape, the sheer size and scale of Gullfoss only becomes apparent the nearer wow. you approach. Once you reach the cliff edge, however, you'll find that the coursing cascades and enormous the falls. Waterfalls. It's the really beautiful. In the whole of Europe. Lying almost at right angles to one another, the two sets of falls wow. make an epic sight, and its gushing roar provides the perfect soundtrack to the dramatic surroundings. Woo! Meaning Golden Falls, Golfoss is so named due to the color of its waters that shimmer seductively in the sun. Such a magnificent place it's just like guys uh, if you're visiting uh, this kind of place you will forget your problems so guys I'm I will not talk uh, anymore of the top 2 and 1 because I want to enjoy the video so I will ta talk later after the uh, they finish this uh, number one so let's enjoy the views and avoid talking <laughs> number two blue lagoon. blue lagoon located on a peninsula less than an hour's ride from Reykjavik the blue lagoon is Iceland's most popular tourist destination this man-made lake is fed by superheated seawater vented from a nearby lava flow the geothermal waters contain minerals like silica, believed to have health benefits. Ooh. But it's the chance to relax in a steaming lagoon surrounded by black lava wow. rocks that most attracts visitors. In addition to a restaurant that overlooks the lagoon, a 35-room resort features an array of pampered amenities, including spa treatments, saunas, and steam Ooh. baths. You can soak in the water. Number one. Number one. Vatna Yokel National, National Park. Home to the largest wow. glacier in Europe. The Vatna Yokel National Park is so vast it encompasses around 14% of the country. Divided into four separately managed territories, the park's most frequently visited section is the southern territory of Skaftafell, where trails lead you past Ooh. blue tinted glacier tongues and waterfalls. Hardy adventurers can climb the Vatna Yoko Glacier or explore a long row of volcanic craters. The park has a wealth of easily accessible features too, including the powerful Detefoss, a waterfall Ooh. famous for the sheer volume of water that cascades over its rim. Ooh. The waterfalls! Wow. Wow, guys, Iceland country, it's really uh, magnificent and it's really fascinating. So if you really like travel, so don't uh, hesitate to be on your bucket list, number one, Iceland, because the country, it's really beautiful, especially if you're going to the countryside area. Wow. Whew. Hopefully, I can visit this country also because it's really magnificent. So, wow, <laughs> I'm really 
I don't know guys, I don't have any words to say because I was really fascinating with Iceland, the views, the, even the city also itself, it's so clean and as I told you bef in, before that, better to explore the countryside because there are lots of things to discover on the countryside like Iceland if you visit to the countryside wow if we, if you're really a nature lover this place is really good for you so there you go guys my reaction on toropia video entitled 10 best places to visit in iceland so i hope you enjoy and you like this video if you have any suggestion or any recommendation for me to react just comment below until next time bye for now